In the last video, I showed you how to import prospects into Pardot. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to import leads or contacts into Salesforce. So before we were in the Pardot, um, in the Pardot Lightning application and we're looking at the prospect records, in this case, we just need to go to the Salesforce setup menu. You can get there by clicking on this uh, settings gear in the upper right hand corner, the setup area, and then click on setup to take us to that admin or setup area of Salesforce. And then in the quick find, search for import. And you'll see it's gonna bring up the data import wizard. Now, every edition of Salesforce will have access to this tool. Uh, certain editions will also have access to dataloader.io, which lets you import all sorts of other objects, but this should work just fine for now. There's some helpful information here and videos. And then we've got this big launch wizard button right at the bottom. You can see we've got three main steps across the top. First, we're gonna choose what we're trying to import. Then we're going to uh, edit the mapping between the columns in the spreadsheet and the fields in Salesforce. And then we're gonna confirm and start it. So right at the top, we've got accounts and contacts as well as leads. Leads are a flat object. That's why they are, you know, they're by themselves here. So we just click on leads. You can choose to add new records, update existing or add new and update. If you're gonna end up updating, it's always ideal to have that lead ID uh, included in the spreadsheet to make sure you're not updating the wrong one by, by chance. In this case, let's just click on add new records. Um, but it also has some, some matching criteria here. Now, if you're going to try and avoid duplicates, uh, email is always better than just choosing name. And then you can assign new leads to a specific source, just whatever you have in that drop-down pick list. Uh, in this case, we'll say other. And you can assign leads uh, according to assignment rules. We'll just skip that. If you skip it, then whoever's doing the import is, is going to be the default owner of these leads or contacts or any record that you're uploading. And we'll skip these next sections. We don't really need to worry about assigning leads to a campaign at this time or triggering any uh, workflow rules. Right here is where you can choose a CSV file to import. So I'm gonna click CSV and we'll take our prospect CSV file right there and then hit next. Uh, next stage is edit mapping. So out of the box, it did pretty well mapping the Salesforce fields to these different uh, fields in the CSV. So that makes things easy. Uh, but sometimes, you know, your CSV header will be different than the name of the of the field within Salesforce, and you might have to do some manual mapping. To do that, just click on the map button, and then you get a whole list of fields to choose to associate with that spreadsheet column. So this is looking good. Let's hit next. Okay, and then hit import. So this will run in the background. Um, you may be able to see your bulk data jobs here, in which case if you refresh this, you can see it update over a period of time. It just depends on how big that, that file is as to how long it'll take. But that's the process. Same thing with accounts and contacts, and uh, hope that helps. So thanks for watching. See you in the next video.